Hello. <laughs> you little shits. Tondagosa. I wonder why I'm wearing long pants. Fucking kittens. Oh. It definitely wouldn't be already a month. I don't think. A few weeks in any case. Oh no, how awful for her. There were still making the game for the games of the day, and the early chapters were shown as flashbacks. Oh, interesting. I can't believe the pant won the battle. Unprecedented. Oh my god, what did she do? What did she do? She like worried that she's gonna get it caught on something inexplicably again? She seems so confusion. <laughs> so, uh, last time on Mother 3, this whole situation, um, apparently we ha have to worry about these seven needles getting pulled and the darkness evil dragon will come out, but... But if it's, they're all pulled out by a nice person, Darkness Evil Dragon will be like, all right, actually. Um, <laughs> Who else besides you could pull this needle? Bone. Yeah, to be honest. <laughs> Commander, please hurry here. We've located the next needle. B -b -b but the monkey, we need the monkey. The monkey can open it. God, what a pain in the neck. Anyway, the monkey's a key. I'll explain the details later. P please come to the Chimera Lab. I assume you know where the Chimera Lab is, right? No. Huh? Commander, your voice sounds kind of cheery today. Well, anyways, please take the crossroad train to the factory. And when you arrive, go west from the ropeway station that's behind the factory. Did you get all that? Yeah. Oh, if you know where it is, then there's no problem at all. Please hurry. Damn. Lucas always seems so depressed, but even even he apparently seems cheery compared to, to Klaus. Oh no. Wait, I have a premonition. It says to not leave yet. There's something here. Some sort of incredible power seems to be seeping here. Nani? That ladder is a shortcut back to Tasmili. Head there. I'm worried about my own needle now. Y yeah. 
That's where I was trying to go. I just know we'll meet again, but if we don't, then that means one of us has left this world. <laughs> bye bye. Oh my god. I gotta respect that. I assume that dialogue was meant for if you tried to leave without the phone. <laughs> but yeah, that was very good. <laughs> You unlocked the door. Oh, we're here. They've stacked up. A bro team suddenly attacked. Oh no. Combo attack. PK freeze alpha. This is how Klaus and I will finally unite at the end of the game and save everything. Wait, nut cookie no good. <laughs> the crunchies save screen- or I mean item screen music. I'm trying to th think of if I have any other shitty items I should throw away. Yeah, I think that was just really good. It was just really good work. How many should attack? Wait. Double butt. Lucas leveled up. And we left a present. Beef jerky. I will immediately use that. Oh, I can sell that kid's hat. G. Melanie. How come your Saturn lets you have three mothers? <laughs> oh. oh, I smoosh him. Oh no, it disconnected. Also, Hempley, did you did you see me say how I uh I was going back to the finale of Earthbound, the first one, and it, in it, you like you had come back and you were like, "Yeah, I've been lurking a bit," and I was like, "Whoa, kitties are good. They're finally learning to eat." But I'm quickly running out of formula, so like they need to finish learning to eat food real fast. Oh, I was saying, I went back to the VOD of of the finale of the first um, Earth Earthbound, like uh, my playthrough of it. And yeah, yeah, in it, like you show up and you're like, yeah, I've been lurking some, and I'm like, wow, it's Hempley, wow. Can't believe it. Now I've killed you so many times. It's a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For some reason, Lucas started to feel feverish. Hell yeah. <laughs> he showed up in the game. I could believe it. A Baba attacked. Wow. Ha 
Klaus Wuse. Eat the beef jerky. Humane finish hours. Stinky ghost return. Hey yo. Stinky. Wait, what did he say? My humble little meatloaf patch. Oh yeah, no, the meatloaf can no longer grow. Sorrow. Cats are good. Look at them. They're living it up. <gasps> woof woof. Woof woof woof. We got separated again after we fell off an airship. But we're fine. <laughs> I want to believe that we'll run into Duster again and he'll ha just have lost his memory again and have another new identity. <laughs> Lucas, have you seen Flint? He was just here visiting Hinawa's grave. He's probably headed back into the mountains yet again to look for Klaus. Look for Klaus, visit Hinawa's grave. Look for Klaus, visit Hinawa's grave. That's all your old man does anymore. Yep, sure sucks. <laughs> His only salvation is you, Lucas. You've grown so strong that Flint doesn't need to worry anymore. You've grown up to be a truly good lad. I mean, he, he should probably still worry about me a little. Here, Flint gave me this. He asked me to give it to you the next time you came by. Supposedly, it's a good luck charm your pops treasures since he was a... Wait. Your pops treasured since he was a boy himself. Got a courage badge. What's that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Key item. Courage badge. The rust and dirt conceals the design underneath. It's incredibly old. Oh, it's got secrets. You've grown so much that your dad doesn't need to feel bad about ignoring you in favor of your lost family members. That's good, right? Learn defense up Omega. I think. Okay, so I gotta go like, oh, take train, take train. He's a little man, a whole 14 or whatever, no longer needs parent. Oh. Commander, where are you, Dakota? No, no, I'm just spouting nonsense. Everyone is waiting at the Chimera Lab. I still haven't arrived yet, though. The reason being that I forgot how to get there. I mean, I understood the directions, but... To get to the Chimera Lab, you take the crossroad train to the factory, and then head west from the ropeway station. The problem is that I don't know where I am right now. Hello, are you all right, Commander? I... Oh, I see the Chimera Lab now. You were right. You take the crossroad train to the factory, and then head west from the ropeway station. <laughs> But how do we get there, though? Now, will we actually be able to take the train? How about taking the green train? The green one costs a little bit more, though. How much? Huh? Really? Then it'll be 200 DP for two tickets. Please get on before you change your mind. I, have, I guess I had enough DP on me. Green train. Uh, 
Oh, oh, the camera froze again. I know, I wonder if I'll actually get another prize or something. Yeah, that is bullshit. What? It's not working now. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. <laughs> there we go. All aboard! The green train's fun too! There's something that reminds me of, but I don't know what. Chugga chugga choo, chugga choo choo It's fun to ride the train with me and you it's the green train Going insane No, there's no rain <laughs> Factory, factory, thank you for riding with us today Lucas experienced the joy of riding a green colored train. <laughs> Amazing. Wait, I should see if I have any. Guess I might as well take out these shit healing. Them up. And I will get rid of Kitat. Oh, Butakusa. Shit, oh shit, UT come to the float. You actually want milk? I do have some. I have some. Where's the... There we go. Still probably getting used to the new place. It's a lot. Oh, he threatened with the bear claw. Is it still coming out? Oh, it's clogged. Yeah, that's fair.
Remember, don't be me. You'll have your turn soon. Here, let your sister have some. I'm sorry, do you want some or not? What are you feeling? You're being weird. Mysteries. I want to bite the milk. Apparently. Very strange. Very right, good. You want some? Okay. Very weird. Oh, you're that part-timer from the other day. Perfect timing. Keep watch for me, will ya? I'm gonna go inside and help look for some escaped monkeys. <laughs> Whoa. It's a crazy thing up on top of the door. Broke. Frog is not safe here. Don't get chimera Movie. Oh, you're the part-timers who started here today, right? No. Oh, well, it's great that you're so interested in our company's research, especially at such a young age. But please don't go behind the mini theater speakers to get inside the lab. When someone tells you not to do something, you're not supposed to do it, understand? <laughs> Click. We're... Welcome. The Chimera Theater is currently closed. Or click. This area is off limits, and don't you dare try to find some other way inside. I have some special medicine here not sold in any vending machines. Could I interest you in some? This guy wants to sell me fucking drugs. They're too goddamn expensive. Fuck you. Gotta check that bathroom. Even in the bathroom, I can save. I really suggest you save your game here. Oh, save your game? But there's another one. You never know when you'll need to save. Oh! Aw. <laughs> Amazing. I love Hanukkah-kun. <gasps> Very good stick, but it costs 2000 Let's see. Yeah, we got the money. Wait, oops. That's our mystery. There we go. Buy a secret herb.
Wait, so go behind the speaker. You can even see, like, the light coming out. <laughs> the locker is empty. There are pig masks in here. Put them on. Oh, shit. We are disguised. <laughs> and I finally get to wear it, too. A bunch of yucky laundry is inside here. No problem here. No problem here. Oh, X is a cat, comma, mysteries. <laughs> I don't I don't think that's really come up. Ah, that was so good. Wake is a cat, mysteries. Books about mammals and such. It, it's more a Discord meme. If, if you can find that that review, I will do a dramatic reading of it for, for anyone unfamiliar. Because it is very good. Ultimate Chimera report. Removal of this report from laboratory premises is forbidden. Gimme. God, it's been a while since I thought about it, but it is still very good. Perfect timing! You guys are part-timers, right? Then get looking too! Some monkeys have gone missing! We have to find Saduza. They should be hiding somewhere in the lab. There's two of them. Scour every last inch of the place. No problem here. Perfect timing. You guys are part-timers, right? Then get looking too! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yes, so this is a review for, for Ruby that just, like, brought us so much joy in general. It's very important. I love Ruby. It's really good. I love the characters. It's a lot of stuff and funny moments. I love Blake. She's my favorite character. Blake is a cat. Mysteries. And when it comes to fish, she just loves it because she's a cat. She's a faunus. That's what I love about her. She fits in with other people even though she's a cat. But all the characters, bad, good, grim creatures, and many more, I don't know what's next. This is a great series to watch. Lots of bad guys, good guys, action, forgiveness. <laughs> It's, it's, there's just something about, like, Blake is a cat, mysteries, and she can be friends with them, everyone, even though she's a cat. It's just so pure and so excited, and it brings me joy. Blake is a cat, mysteries. I was just about to go home for today, but now I have to look for some stupid monkeys. They're are so gonna get reconstructed if I get my hands on them. But yeah, every once in a while we would end up, uh, you know, like, if a cat was being mysterious, you'd just be like, if Fondue's a cat, mysteries. <laughs> There's a slot for money here, insert 10 DP. A big city cola came out. I hope they're having a good day. <gasps> what in the world, trash person? Trash, trash creature. Onsen. The guys organize <laughs> the guys arguing about Snorlax is very important. Learn the shit. Lab. A problem here. There appears to be a special kind of chemical up above, but it's out of reach. <laughs> Get some red juice. No problem here. No problem here. Treadmill. Emergency is displayed on the screen. No problem here. There are many tools here. Who knows what they're used for, though? For when it's just too much work to get from one side of the room to the other. It's like, I would assume that's the kind of treadmill that, you know, like, some creature is supposed to run on to power the facility, but nobody's running on it. It's... it's using energy. <laughs> Eevee, there's an elevator here. Oh, that's what a EV means. I shouldn't use it yet. A g g g g ghost There's a large machine here. What it's used for is anyone's guess. No problem. 
You're some kind of lathe. Homestuck. <laughs> Effort value. Chew. Oh god, this area is big. I'm gonna lose track of where the fuck I am. There appears to be a special kind of chemical up above, but it's out of reach. The map? What do you- I don't know- I don't know how well I'll be able to use this. We'll see. Everything past here is top secret. A robotic arm. Oh god. Horrifying. Let's not think about that too hard. There's an old book here titled Overcoming Shyness. Oh, I don't remember that. Was that in Earthbound? Tilly. Tilly. Okay, so I'm back here. Oh, yeah! What are you doing, Tilly? Doki. So goofy. Well done. A full Dragosaurus skeleton. House bones. Skull of a young Drago. Wow. Oh, save your game. <laughs> Yeah, cats are like, they express emotions in a lot of ways, but they tend to be like a little more specialized and weird to learn. A full cactus wool skeleton. A full Australophant skeleton. Oh god. A full cattle snake skeleton. No! Some sort of competition trophy has been placed here as decoration. Runner up. <laughs> Agitated boar. Australophant. I don't think we've run into that one yet. Cattle snake. Batangatan. Mushroom. I, I do love these guys. Parental king of shark. I don't think we've run into this one either. Dogfish. <laughs> Very straightforward. Holy shit. Horse Angela. Jesus Christ. Balding eagle. The balding eagle isn't even like two things combined, it's just a silly eagle. Brain specimens of various animals are stored here. Ugh. <gasps> Monkey friends! It, was, it definitely made me think of guard phone. <laughs> oh, an eagle and a vulture? I guess. Yeah, but there are fish called dogfish. Brain specimens of various animals. The nervous systems of various animals are being preserved in chemicals here. Look out! Oh, hello. An almost mecha lion suddenly attacked. Almost? Oh, because it has just a little bit of, of biology left. Oh no, Walter's on fire! It, he does look pretty rad, I gotta give it to him.
I know this is definitely played before. Oh, oh, familiar from outside the game. This is gonna be fine, this is gonna be fine. Oh, it isn't Smash. I should have done this. Oh. oh, no, 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 no. No! Thank you for your memento. The timing was so close. Scratch with claw. Fifteen. Just go ahead and use life up, beta. Oh no! Yeah, th there's that guy. There's that nice guy that wanders around and you can deposit your items with. Oh yeah, so I guess I could have stored that item to not use it up. Ah well. I feel like this... I feel like they probably give it to you here because they realize that you might have some trouble with only two party members. <laughs> God, he hurt a lot. Scratch with your sharp claws. Oh, also, I totally watched that video that Hempley was suggesting about the invisible walls in Mario, and that guy has a fetish for charts. That's simply a fetish. But I support him. He's living his best life. Sometimes they're good visual aids, but sometimes they, like, over-explain things to the point where it, it just, like, almost makes it more confusing. And I'm like, you just wanted to make another chart, you little shit. <laughs> you have a sick hunger. I And I started watching the one about making the pendulum break the game. But I haven't finished that one yet because it was getting actively distracting from what I was working on. This guy's rude! Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, that may be, might be what I mean. It's just like this explanation is becoming less useful because you're starting to, you know, like just repeat yourself or, or whatnot. But yeah, some sometimes you just gotta enjoy the pure, pure joy of making charts. Are you okay, cute part timer? <laughs> many are left? Just the one now. The one? You mean the red one with the huge mouth? <laughs> yeah, I, I know people have mentioned something about parallel universes, and yeah, I gotta see it. <laughs> yeah. That thing means serious trouble. Just standing here won't solve anything. For now, let's hurry and seal the exits. 
Watch yourselves, guys. Boo, boo, boo. It was also just really cool to learn some of those things about programming and stuff. Like the whole, the fact that there's like, you know, ceiling and wall and floor and, and everything is just one of those things. If healing beta can heal incapacitation. What? I, I will check. There's actually one more that's still lurking around here somewhere. One that's way more dangerous than that one just now. If while looking for the monkeys, you happen to see a red thing with a gigantic mouth, get the heck out of there. Duly noted. Listen, pay close attention now. If you run into a red, huge mouth chimera, do absolutely nothing to it. Got that? I've warned you. And while I'm warning you like this, I should add that it'd be even more dangerous not to take the time out to talk with that frog. All right, be careful now. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, especially like, you know, that being so early in the days of 3D and them having to figure out so many things fresh. It's very impressive. Yeah, yeah, no. I, I assumed the second one wouldn't do that yet. There are many unidentifiable objects here, all preserved in formaldehyde. Oh! Healing beta! Whoop. Third tries the charm. Here are all, stat all status ailments an ally has. It doesn't explicitly say... ...being dead. I, I know the special herb says all... Whatever's. Including incapacitation. Ah. That's weird. <laughs> I mean, I guess in a way being KO'd is the status. Uh-oh. Don't kill. Don't kill, imposter. Someone's on cameras. It's probably debt debt. Let's see. The next room over there is the specimen room. And then, and then, and then those stairs there take you to the first floor. And then there's an elevator in that room over there with the door open, I think. Huh? Now I'm all confused again. But I think that's probably right. Should I repeat all that? No. What a relief. No, yeah, I'd understandable. Many sounds. Many sounds are occurring. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Lucas's party feel alive again. Everyone meaning me and my dog. Okay, so where am I theoretically wanting to go? I guess up B? Oh, I bet. I mean, Omori is, after all, an indie RPG maker game. And so it has to be somewhat inspired by Earthbound and such. I'm not stuffed. I'm alive. I'm plenty and alive, Dagnabbit. How'd you end up here? There's a large machine here. What it's used for is anyone's guess. There's an elevator here. Reef. <laughs> All these weird pig sounds. Now I am the exhibit. Oh. So cool. Wait, so... Oh, here's the other elevator. Three. They're dead as fuck. Jokes on them. Walter got an edible mushroom. Walter got an enemy whimperizer. 
Wait, I should maybe go ahead and eat the edible mushroom because those suck. Oh, wait, that's right. We have full HP thanks to taking a bath. What? Is he just always on the opposite side? <laughs> Amazing. This guy's like fallen between my legs, so he's like kind of down in the crack between them. But I guess he's vibing, so like it's all good. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Oh, there's third elevator. It goes down to B1. Oh. I've totally seen that creature in in the Smash Bros. No. No. Yeah. Wait, so... Oh, but it's not here right now. It's like moving around. Monkeys? Yeah, some ran through this door, actually. Why didn't I run after them, you ask? Ow, oh, wow, wow, my stomach, it pains me so. Yeah, that ultimate chimera, Kimura, or whatever it's called, I'd make quick work of it if only it weren't for my aching stomach. Like they say, you can't fight on an aching stomach, so I leave the rest to you, see ya. part-timers you sure do work hard you're really something but you should probably get out of this building as fast as you can no problem here that is incorrect who left this here wait is it gonna be a creature nope simply pork stew oh yeah that's the thing that was like uh also in mother one or whatever or at least made of one the monkey it let the red one out of the cage. Oh, we're done for now. Oh, we're done for now. <laughs> we're done for now. I put some rice balls in the freezer room, but they wound up frozen solid. I should have eaten them sooner. <laughs> Free them. Free them all. Armadillo. That's just an armadillo. Wait, monkey, we are a friend. We are a friend. Did they go through there again? Yeah, yeah, it's Salsa and his girlfriend. Of course it is. Wait, I didn't miss them over here somewhere, did I? Sarusa. Sarusa. This appears to have been unused for a long time. <laughs> How irresponsible. Oh, 
Oh, to be a kitten. To be a comfy, sleepy kitten. Well then, hmm. I wonder where I should be going now. I guess I just walk around until I find something else. Monkeys, where go? Where go, monkeys? I sure did find something. Monkeys. Oh, I guess I'll say that they're closed off until the situation is resolved. Oh, to not have to pay taxes. Wait. Monkeys love the theater. Alas. <laughs> it's exactly like Aloni. What about her face? I, I love when you see cats from that angle. It's amazing. Wink. <laughs> oh my fucking god, what? What? Very distracting. Very distracting. Oops, mother brother. We'll die. She's at the top of her game. appears to be an operating table for animals. gun, but you can't carry any more stuff. Saltwater gun, too. I have one, right? Maybe not. Don't, don't ask about... Let's not talk about the mechanics of it. Stop, stay away! This is my hiding spot! <laughs> Your hiding spot shit! An image of an odd creature you've never seen before is being displayed on the screen. No problem here. These lab coats have been neatly cleaned. At least someone knows how to be clean. Instructions are written on the whiteboard. Emergency measures. Should the ultimate chimera escape from his cage, seal all entrances and exits immediately. In the unlikely event that it gets outside, use full force. 
to feign ignorance and pretend nothing happened. In the event that the ultimate chimera is seen by civilians, the rest has been erased and is unreadable. <laughs> It's just a silly creature. No problem here. Okay, so, I, I, I'll be honest, I thought maybe if you literally don't do anything when you see it, that was, like, somehow, like, a riddle, you know? Like, it, if you just don't move, it'll, like, not hurt you or something. But it turns out, nah. He'll, he'll just simply eat you. Because they said something about, like, don't, don't do anything... Look, whatever, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gotta straighten myself. Yeah, I think it meant more like don't try to fight it. But you know what Let's see. I will destroy my back for the sake of having kittens in my lap. Look, I had to give it a shot because I don't know what I'm doing. It's a painting. What a painting. What? <laughs> oh yeah, it's called Bowser. I'm so confused, Cricket. Oh my god, the laziest sippies. wants food. I can go get some food. Y'all just had food a bit ago, but I mean, maybe you've decided you want some more? Double check that you don't want- You're weird! You're being so weird! Very mysterious. Yeah, here, let me see if they want food. <laughs> right back.
and boo. Spooky. Oh, you got him. decide you don't want to eat if it's not in my... Come on. How could you? This guy's still schnaumen. Gonna figure out where the fuck we need to go. I, I might ask y'all soon. Because I don't want to just be checking every single room over and over. But I also don't know how else to go about this. fight the chimera again it'll definitely go well this time do not mock me child okay i'll take a hint does anyone know where i need to go next <laughs> or at least like what floor it's on First floor hallway. Wait, I was just there. Austral elephant, eight million DP. Oh my god, is this like the budget? Ten million DP, or you know, like how much it, it costs them to. <laughs> Porky08 sold out. Eins Wein, 12 million 500 DP. 500,000. I see you looking at me. I see you looking. find anything I mean I don't know where we're trying to go I've walked past it a few times oh my god God damn it. <gasps> Dr. Andonuts! I realize you haven't asked, but my name is Dr. Andonuts. I've been forced to conduct various sorts of research by a certain man. Currently, though, I'm trying to conceal myself for certain reasons. I'm a bit occupied at the moment. Could you come back at a better time? Oh my fucking god. There's nothing in here. A bunch of filthy cloths that has been placed in here.
No problem here. Yeah, they're quite British. Completely missed this room. Bridget air is blowing ceaselessly from the machine. It's so cold that someone could probably freeze in here. That's right, he mentioned the freezer. This drago has been frozen and encased in ice. Doors on this cabinet are frozen shut. Frigid air is blowing ceaselessly from this machine. It's so cold that someone could probably freeze in here. Inside the present, there was a bomb. But you can't carry any more stuff. Damn it. I, I'm so bad at, at, at using menus. Remembering things. It's covered in frost. There seems to be an animal encased in ice in here. It's so covered in frost that you can't see what's inside. It's covered in frost. It's covered in frost. This is fucking... Undertale. Undertale. Undertale is a smaller three, a smaller three, it's all fucking three! It's, it's all fucking three! Toby. Toby, come... Toby, get in here. <laughs> Race tools are lined up. What's that green? It's just we went. We're in a place in this creepy lab, you know, where animals get co on, combined into into other creatures, creepier creatures. And there's this like really cold machine in this lab, and all oh, this. It's, 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 no problem here. No problem here. Just leave it at that, would you? from here. Hmm. A bunch of yucky laundry is inside here. Obviously the music from True Lab was from that last area in Earthbound. <laughs> Don't you even. Oh, there's just a bit of food left. Whoever could finish it up? Who could do it? Aha, he went to the wrong bowl first. so hungry without babies to steal food from. Thank goodness. Boink. <laughs> His bloopy belly. It makes him look very fat, but I swear he's not. Okay, so I still don't know where I need to go, actually. I mean, it's good that we found Dr. Andonuts, but that doesn't seem to have progressed anything. <laughs> so, uh... I could use help. What am I missing here?
First floor to the far right. This is poor implementation, I gotta say. A little too much blind running around going everywhere all over and over again. Oh, oh, I guess not this first floor. And now they're suddenly here when they weren't before. I just remembered the, this Chimera's weakness, so I mustered up the courage to come here. No! This is a high-tech, battery-operated Chimera. In other words, if we set the power switch on its back to off, it will stop. I think this is just a robot, then. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> I just like the idea that now anytime we see something that's similar to Undertale, we have to be like, Toby? <laughs> Toby? There's a large button on its back. You need to press it. Be courageous. Use the dog as bait. What the fuck? Yeah, monkey. Hell yeah. Dr. Andonuts was a son of a bitch in Earthbound 2. If, if you weren't here for the Earthbound playthrough, he's the dad of the character Jeff, who's like the nerd boy. And he's like a, you know, super scientist guy, but he's a dick. Bad dad. Oh. Thank you, lad. And monkey. I think I'll use this opportunity to leave the military and devote my life to making all living things happy. Oh, you agree with my idea? Thank you, dog. I'm sorry. I was merely joking about the bait thing. Yeah, get his ass. It's a simple misunderstanding. You have it all wrong. Yeah, fuck him. They little monkey butts. Sandra's have joined your party. Sandra's up. What about Lipstick Monkey Girl? Oh, who said it was just a lure? Where it is, friend. Are you satisfied, Taro? Yeah, I think that Chimera is going to solve the problem of this lab. Should form a club or something. So now what? Oh, I guess we can keep going west. Oh shit! We finally get to meet this. Oh my god! Australophant suddenly attacks. It is pretty amazing. Saruza. The Australian charged! 
It turned his head! <laughs> Salsa still doesn't do shit with its attack. Brud! Don't come in. Murasaki Hot Spring. There's no need to rush five seconds rejuvenates Murasaki Spring Water. A few extra syllables. Cluck cluck. Want an egg? Yes. Cluck cluck. You got it. Just leave it to me. Oh wait, but my inventory's full. Oh wait, but I have Salsa now. Eggs. Yolks and whites. Salsa got a fresh egg. <laughs> Thanks, dude. I'll make it into mayonnaise and sell it. I was wondering about that if this time was supposed to be a haiku. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Lucas' party feel alive again. It is an onsen tamago. Wait. Hot spring egg! <laughs> An egg with a firm yolk and thick white restores 100 HP. Excellent. Excellent. Oh my god, the horse tarantula thing. Australopithecus cohorts on the attacks. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> Jesus. Do a dance. Or Santula. <gasps> Lucas' offense increased. Checked Walter over and over. Or Santula went berserk. Holy shit, holy shit. Monkey die. There's no way I'm finishing him off before Monkey die. Purple kick. No, I can finish him off. I can finish him off. Like, uh, like, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, an icebreaker where everyone has to give two animals to combine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or even we could do the normal telephone style, um, or you know, Gartic phone style. And so the people after the last person would have to guess what two animals had been combined, and you know, like they might get it wrong. <laughs> so it might change which two animals are it composes. Nostril phone and his cohorts only attacked. I'm gonna apologize to Haunts. I'm very sorry, Hans, about everything. So all those feelings didn't get through to the horse Angela. Whoa. Oh, I should never attack with the monkey. I wasn't thinking. Oh, at least you're poisoned and didn't die. Pokemon fusions are fun, but I am also down for regional variants of Pokemon. I think there, I think there's so much you could do with that, with like making versions of Pokemon that are different types and whatnot. You could totally have a new Pokemon gen that's just regional variants. And I would have a good time. Monkey Mimic. Jesus.
just, I just want to give it to you. guys are too much. It's also fired its cannon and dealt a lot of damage to the boss. Amazing! Wait, so I feel like he's not... Okay. So it's level 16. Okay, at least you got a bit of X. Well, you also gotta remember, I mean, this is from an era where there was more general, like, grinding and such ex expected of you. Whereas we've just been YOLOing. Oh my god, what the heck, these babies. Oh my god. I suppose, but but the bird told me that if I run past everything, I won't be strong enough to deal with stuff later. It's no good. But maybe the horse Angela specifically I can run past. Saltwater gun. Oh my god, brain pig. Ein swine. Well done, localization dorks. Oh my god. Things have escalated. have escalated. We would, would be expected to go. Hey, monkey managed it. No, 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 no. Heal the monkey. Heal the monkey. Heal the monkey. Heal the monkey. No one was amused. How dare. I don't even know why I'm bothering to attack again. Ah! Oh yeah, I can't- I can't run because- Oh no! <laughs> I guess I, I gotta remember it's not that bad if I die. It's not that bad if I die. <laughs> okay, I will ask people who know the game, is that the general direction I'm supposed to go in? You got it, just leave it to me. Look, eggs, yolks, and whites. No! What the fuck? What the fuck? Did, 
did we see Girl Monkey go off to the east? Yes, I so monkey. Tell me, do dance? There's a door here. Dancing figures are depicted on it. Monkey knows how to do it. Go monkey, go monkey. Reuse that animation. So that's where Toby learned to do that for water-related areas. Baby butthole. Baby butthole. Oh my god. Magic gloves, but you can't carry any more stuff. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit. Where's my storage friend? Dung! I still have all the items that he had before. Damage is mechanical enemies, that's right. Magic gloves. <gasps> Whoa, awesome! Hey, Kumatora! No, oh, so that's why we got those gloves here. You really did show up, Lucas! You're here too, Salsa? It's great to see you again. I didn't know you were alive. <laughs> oh, and have you been Love Monk Love Monkey? That's her name. Hello. Love Monkey. Oh my! What adorable visitors! Introduce me to them, won't you? Yeah, sure. Wait one sec. These are my friends. Love, <laughs> this is Salsa and the monkey and his love monkey. And this is Lucas, the human. And this dog is... <laughs> she might not actually know his name. Walter the dog. <laughs> so you're sweet little Lucas. Ioni has told me all about you. Come with me. I'll show you where the needle is. No, what if it's a trap? What if they're like watching us or something? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Lucas. That's Doria, one of the seven mag Maggies. <laughs> he saved me. Apparently that's what fate had in store. Boop. Love monkey. A map of nowhere island. What? First know this, these are specially protected islands. We reside upon these islands together with a limitless power. That power is, is this the same? 
powers of dragon the dragon is incredibly large about as large as the, all these islands put together because the dragon is asleep these islands are protected from disaster oh my god IRL monkeys I would have to see what which one you're talking about but a lot of them do are, are kind of kind of creepy but I mean if I met one we'd be cool we would fist bump why is it just showing me the same thing again I shouldn't have clicked this Spider monkey, pretty cool. Actually, wait, this might be a good time to go <laughs> refill my drink. <laughs> this is entrapment. I'm glad we're all caught back up on the story again. <laughs> After I fell from the airship, Dory was there to rescue me. Apparently a pretty woman dressed in red appeared in Doria's dreams and foretold that I'd fall into uh, this pond. For some reason, after I heard that story, I just somehow knew you guys were alright too, and that I'd see you again soon enough. Oh yeah, it's my mama. My ghost mama. I was a little worried about you though, Lucas. Doria also says Duster's alright. I think he is too. Ionia told me you would come here. The needle I'm guarding is at the bottom of this pond. My needle is much more of a pain to pull out. <laughs> It's hard to believe you really have the power to pull the needles, but before you can even try, we need to move the water from this pond into that empty hole first. Isn't it actually named Samba, but their name is never said in game except in the credits? Samba! Samba. Yeah, I assume that's like a kind of weird translation of like a monkey he's in love with or whatever. Like his love, like his, his monkey of love, of whom he loves, you know? It's probably the idea in the Japanese. Oh god damn it, why are you being so finicky again? You know that Chimera Laboratory to the west of here? There might be some junk there that could help us move the pond water. Oh no! Why not look for something there? M maybe we can just get a straw? Maybe we can just get a straw instead? <laughs> Alas! Sarika! <laughs> Lazy. Lazy. I don't know why they, they would have... Oh wait, or I guess that might be what they had instead of Samba. These guys are back. Ting ting. Wrecked. Whoa. <gasps> a dogfish suddenly attacked. Look at this guy. He looks like fucking Snoopy. He's like motherfucking Snoopy. Also, this one's three animals. Wow, Mom, how come they let you be three animals? The, the feet are from Woodchuck. Wood Woodstock? What's the name of that little bird? <laughs> Woodstock.
And and the fish is, you know, the famous Charlie Brown fish animal. Fishman. Fisherkins. We all remember them. What the fuck do you want? Oh, lad, I thank you for earlier. What's that? You're looking for a way to transfer all the water from one pond to another? I prefer older Snoopy design and older Peanuts style, actually. Hmm. Those eyes of yours, lad, they're the eyes of someone who's taken on some sort of mission. Very well. I'll lend you a helping hand. The fish is Achoo. actually what the part of the kite-eating tree that is never on screen looks like. Fucking look at this guy. I've brought several of the chimeras I've been developing in secret. Pick whichever one you think will be the most useful to you. What either of them looks like they got a, a, a snoot doot. I demand this one. That's a dry guy. It's the latest model dryer chimera, and it utilizes an air intake system and a jet engine. It can dry anything in mere moments, even long hair, afros, panties, and Asian beauties. Are you certain this is what you want? Uh, I want to kick you in the nuts. Those are the Bucket Brothers. They're the result of combining cutting-edge dough technology with clayman technology. These fellows are exceptionally hard workers. Are you certain this is what you want? Ah, oh, that one, huh, that's a rather ho-hum chimera known as a pump chimera. It's an extraordinarily ordinary creature that's really only useful when you need to transfer something from one place to another, such as pond water. <laughs> you certain you want something as uninteresting as this? Oh no, but, but this newt dude. But this is clearly what I want, and you insulted him, so I have to take him. Oh, yes, here we are. This will solve our pond water dilemma. I just know it. Oh, no. What happens with the purple one? Oh, look at him suck up the water. Oh, the pond is slowly emptying. More, do more. None of drying power. I see. Oh, look, look, just look at him go. It's enough to give me chills. Blech. Oh, just look at him swagger away so confidently. He leaves the stage with such a calm air about him. Unnatural if I ever saw one. What a Casanova. Bravo, Mr. Pump. There it is. That's the needle. One of the seven needles sealing the dragon away. Why make it a machine when you can make it a silly doot doot? Pull it out with love in your heart! Can you really pull this needle, like Ionia said? I'm not sure if I should be afraid or happy. A rush of emotions is overcoming me. I can't believe I'm here witnessing this moment. Yeah, aren't you about to, like, stop existing? Thump thump and another thump. Okay, now pull it with all your might right before my very eyes. If this needle gets pulled, oh, if this needle gets pulled, will you disappear like Iolia did? Oh, one of his victory screens? Oh, that's cool. Yes, that's right. Because the needles won't need my protection anymore. The needle can only be pulled when the time comes. So when the needle finally is pulled, the time has come. We Maggies have lived our lives so that we can happily accept that fate when it comes. So don't worry, I'm not going to die. I'm simply going to follow fate and disappear. So it'll be a happy thing. I do have many fond memories though, so it will be a little sad too. Mm -hmm. Pull the needle. Yeah. <laughs> the egging me on posing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, 
good. G good vibes. Something awoke inside Lucas. Lucas realized the power of PK Cat's beta. This really is the beginning of the end. The time has finally come. <laughs> I never once imagined someone would show up at this tender girl's home to pull the needle. Disappearing while still young and beautiful, in one sense it's bliss. Kumatora, go with little Lucas here and see things through to the end. I'm about to disappear youthfully and beautifully. Think about me sometimes, okay? Here, take this memento of me. Your inventory was full. <laughs> oh my, your inventory is full. Oh well, too bad. I leave the rest in your hands now. <laughs> Motherfucker. Bye now, la la la. I assume it's similar to the other one where you could have the free revival. Oh my god. Ionia told me this is a long t time ago. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. When the dark dragon that's sleeping under the island wakes up, all life and all time will be reborn. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm gonna see things through to the end, Lucas. Can I come along with you? I wanna go with you. We have to hurry and find Duster and the Egg of Light, too. Well, yeah, obviously you're coming back with me. Salza, we just met again after all this time, but it looks like this is goodbye again. What about my items that are on you? What's with that look? You're such a sentimental monkey. Let's go. Let's get to that next needle. You and Love Monkey take care now. Huh? What is it? A nut. <laughs> For me? Received a nut. Wow. Thanks. See you later if we ever get the chance. Do we eat your other items, though? No. Monkeys. We're good to see you again, Saru. Well, well, unfortunately... Oh, oh, I can go back. We didn't even do the dance. Cheating. Their house now. Ooh. She's room. Yay! Doria's memento. <laughs> <laughs> Monkey, give me your shit from your inventory. Oh, rascals. Right there, just where do you think you're going? 
Um, hello. You encountered the squeaks. The squeaks. Fighting attack. <laughs> only did 16 damage. Smells like an animal. Smells weak against fire and sleep. 236. The squeaks was taught a lesson. Yeah, we'll definitely check with storage guy next time we see him. Squeak, 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 squeak. I humbly apologize for my rude egotistical attitude despite being so weak. Back on the highway, I was known as the hippest cat around, but now I'm just a pathetic excuse of a mouse. All the girls dug me, but I'm definitely no fighter. But you helped me remember who I really am. I wonder if my wife and seven kids I left on the highway are doing okay. Oh, I'm suddenly feeling homesick now. I'm going back. Yeah, I'm going back. Anyway, dude, I'm heading back home now. But watch out for them mole crickets if you keep going east. Again, so sorry. I'm gonna restart just to get a couple of items back. Woo woo woo. So you kept true to your promise and finally came to the Mole Cricket hole, huh? It's me, it's me. Don't you recognize me? I'm the Mole Cricket you fought at Alex's place when you were play fighting with Dragos as a little kid. I've been training for this day all these years. Okay, let's go. The time to battle has come. Follow me. The time has come. He needs a little guy. Follow our tiny little It takes a while to follow such a small, small guy. <laughs> there it is. This is where you and me are gonna fight it out. This is where my right hand will be raised into the air where I'm when I'm declared the winner. And this is also where you're gonna hit the ground with a thud. This is the place, Mole Cricket Hole. I'll widen the hole a bit for you to fit through. Come on. Okay. Okay. Please be careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I just like climbing down it like a ladder. Whoa. Something that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. dig holes and live in them. We're exceptionally proud. Oh my fucking god. I mean, that looks like a lotus root is blocking the path. Mumble mumble. Elder Cricket. Oh, glad to see you didn't wimp out on me. This here is our elder. I've asked him to be the judge for our match today. If you try to run away or do anything cheap, neither of us will sit by quietly, so you know. Anyways, I've got special rules for our match. If by some chance an outcome isn't reached after 10 minutes have passed, we'll go into overtime, which will last five more minutes. And if a conclusion still isn't reached after that, our elder will decide who the winner is. Elder, is there anything you'd like to add? Wait. Wait, you folks are truly seriously going to fight him? Take my advice. Sometimes the bravest thing to do is run away. But you insist on it? In that case, I won't stop you. Ready to do this thing? Yeah. All right, I guess you have no care for your own life. The bell has rung. You encountered the mole cricket. I'm sure this will be fine. Fighting attack. 
Oh no. It smells like bug. Weak against ice. Weak against crying. Alright, enjoy this. That's enough, that's enough, we give up. To think that such a mighty mole cricket warrior could be, be so easily defeated. <laughs> Perhaps mole crickets aren't so powerful after all. I'll meditate on what else this means at a later time. But for now, the match is over. I suppose the traditional thing to do now is be on good terms with you, so let's be friends. Is there anything you need? <laughs> Actually, yeah, do you know where the needles sealing away the dark dragon are? We're looking for them. We mole crickets aren't very knowledgeable creatures, but call it a hunch, I think there could be a clue to these mysterious objects on the mountain on the far end of this mole cricket hole. I figure that's what the elder wants to say too. Oh, oh that's the mole cricket. He's hard to read sometimes though. Yes, I agree. The mountain. Go through this mole cricket hole and head up the mountain. I'm certain that's what you must do. The mountain, huh? We don't have any other leads to follow up on, so let's check it out. Oh hey, you guys don't know anything about the dark dragon itself, do you? Sadly, we don't. We really are just mole crickets. Even though he's our elder, he's still just a mole cricket too. We have no real strength at all. It's a pity. The very least we can do is help you by eating the lotus roots blocking your way, and other things like that. Wow, a dragon. I bet it's really incredible. It must be incredible indeed. I've learned so much today. A dragon that sleeps underground, needles that seal it away, us being surprisingly weak, living a long life is worth it. Do you suppose you could tell us mole crickets about even more things? Yeah. Thanks. We'll try not to be too much of a bother. So please raise us to be great. <laughs> to start off, I'm thinking of starting a business in our own unique mole cricket way. Please stop by if you ever happen to see us. Oh yeah, if you're gonna go through this mole cricket hole, you should take my little bro with you. He's little, but he's a tough one. You can treat him like any other item. Hey little bro, come here. Was he the mole cricket brother? If you get lost in this mole cricket hole, just ask my little bro for help and he'll bring you straight back here. Right, little bro? Come on, bro, get your act together. The bad news is he's kind of lame and hates the sunlight more than anything else in the world, so be careful, you can't take him with you outside to the mole cricket hole. Right, little bro? All right, all right. Oh God. <laughs> As if lotus roots aren't already creepy enough. Mole crickets know everything. Just about everything ever. Like how to dig holes and how to win fights. Crawl, crawl. Save your game. Oh my god. It's a mole cricket pretending to be a frog. I'm so happy you believe me. I'll work hard to save your game just right. Please take care. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. I don't have a map yet. Small cricket hole is really big, you know. You're gonna get bored fast if you don't do pointless chit chat with us. <laughs> Here, I'll give you un this unbelievably accurate yet unhelpful map. Got a cricket hole map. <laughs> Who's a wowza? I mean, seems pretty useful. Yum, 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 yum. Wait. Those root things are yum. Even their holes are yum. Now on sale, elder approved. Made fresh daily. Only the most honest of the honest make these sincerity dumplings. Now on sale, the mole cricket holds famous sincerity dumplings. Whether they sell or not, I make them every day and, and set them out so I can practice conducting business. I have some super fresh ones today too. Sincerity dumplings. Can't hold any more items. But they heal 100 HP. Okay, wait, so... For sale, hmm. spider donuts, spider cider. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't pull up the map here. Oh, right. 
a Limonha. You want to get on what's on the other end of this mole cricket hole? Everything over there is mysterious for some reason. I'm not brave at all, so I'm too scared to go. If there's a turn, turn. Even if you don't want to, do that and you'll eventually reach the other end of the mole cricket hole. Have faith in yourself and proceed not straight ahead. Time for another song. It's a twisty, turny road, but it's not the path I chose. But don't complain, just grin and bear it. As you go down the twisty, turning road, it's not the path I chose. Who did it choose it, I wonder? Whenever there's a turn, be sure you turn. No matter what happens, turn at every turn. Do that and you'll never get lost. Hmm. We'll see about that. I turn. I turn. I turn. I turn. Uh, turn. Well, not quite, because they say to turn. Not just follow a wall. Wait, shit. Turn here. Turn. Turn. It's definitely working out. It's definitely working out. It's working out so good, for sure. Like I might have been bamboozled. Oh, I remain unbamboozled. Perfect advice. Wild. part ways. I don't have a name, but remember me sometimes as being a pretty cool guy, okay? Welcome. I'm surprised anyone would come to such a cool place. A ten yeti suddenly attacked. Look at this fun guy. <laughs> smells like an animal, smells weak against fire, smells weak against crying. Oh, ten eighty, ten yeti. Eh, could be better. Since it's fleas flying. No fleas! Are those lips or teeth? This one gets plank of wood. Also same in Japanese. Interesting. <gasps> I stopped. Ten. 
EAT. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is it's more similar in Japanese. Okay. A chili dog blocked the way. Chili dog! Look at this fucking guy. Wowza. Feels like an animal. Smells weak, weak against fire and sleep. Oh yeah, they just switch which which one is the bigger and smaller Kana. That makes sense. Double jerky. Look at this fucking little guy. He pleases me. Get out of here. Kasaka... Kasakosa. Interesting. Kasakosa Ulufu. Ulufu. Kasakosa. Kasakosa. It so I already know what to do about you. Oh, fuck you up. Get out of here. Look at look at that background. Whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, he can go in any direction. That's cheating. PK freeze beta. Damn. Fucking up my dog. Oh, that's multi target. Sweet. He <laughs> grabbed the chili dog and swung it around. No. Oh, there's no way I'm healing him in time. Yeah. Mm. Alas. This is level 32. Yeah, that's fascinating. Like, they just have to, both happen, have to happen to show up. Lydia's a very kind person. We snowmen love Lydia. Answer bracelet. Wait. Poor Dogi. I don't want to revive him if we're gonna run into. Kumator started to feel feverish. If we're gonna run into, you know, like a hot spring very soon or whatnot, I don't want to waste on it. Getting cancer. Thanks, dude. Hey, Kumator, you want to hurry up and coincidentally learn healing Omega or whatever the fuck? Gamma? I realize it'll probably be Lucas that learns it. A girl can dream, though. Secret Herb! They motherfucking dropped a secret herb. Fine. Since fate has conspired in such a way. Get up, doggy.
These guys are otherwise pretty simple to fight, so I should probably fight him for X. Ow. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, I, I was wondering. I can get some more. But wow, 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 wow. Hello, welcome to Snowcap Mountain. I'm a snowman that Lydia made. <gasps> Our dude. Okay, wait. So I'm gonna hope that I don't need the DCMC pamphlet anytime soon. Save that for if it comes up. Uh... Oh, here I could go ahead and save Doria's memento. The nut. Hang in there, emulator. Hang in there. Interesting that it seems to get confused specifically as you like move your cursor around. Now see if we happen to... Yeah, no magical gloves, alas. The gods are watching over you guys. You're incredible. You're amazing. Seriously, you're a real inspiration. We're right behind you, supporting you 100%. Wah. Wow. Each of strong secret at a 10% rate. Damn. Maybe I... I mean, I guess... This is probably a good place to end for tonight, so I could I could try to, to farm a few more off screen. Because if it's anything like in the other game, I'll probably fucking want them. I'll fucking want them. Yeah, the quill pen does seem a little arbitrary. I wonder if that was just such a expected thing in RPGs at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I will plan to do that. Wait, where do babies go? Warm bucks. Warm box. Oh, so warm. Oh, so warm. Maybe not warm box, but soft box. Love. <laughs> the beans. Hasta mañana. Baba. Bumbu. Bumbu. Baba. I'm going to get so many secret herbs that they're going to become Bumbu. pretty well known herbs. <laughs>